This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. We are learning more today about the man killed in an alleged road rage shooting on I-275 Friday night. Colerain police identified the man killed as 47 year old Eric Duke. Investigators are not releasing any more information in the case, but according to 911 calls, the shooter said he was defending himself after a crash and confrontation on the roadway. No charge charges have been filed in the case. One of the three people pulled from a house fire in Fairfax last week has died. 71 year old Thomas Wood died Friday at UC Medical Center. According to a coroner's report, police shared this body cam video showing the rescue effort at the home on Waterson Road. Wood and two others were taken to the hospital with critical injuries. The Ohio Fire, fire Marshal's office is still looking into how the fire started. Well, we expect to learn today whether students in Middletown must continue to wear masks in the classroom. Middletown City Schools Board of Education will revisit the issue during a meeting tonight at 6.30 p.m. Right now, masks are required in the district through this Wednesday, but officials may extend that order. And we now know who the Cincinnati Bengals will play in the AFC Championship game. It is the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs beat the Buffalo Bills in overtime last night. The Bengals just played the Chiefs back on January 2nd and won. The AFC Championship game will be Sunday at 3 p.m. And WCPO 9 News will have crews in Kansas City for coverage on the road. Jen? Oh, but that Kansas City home field advantage. Anybody else getting a little nervous about that one? We'll see. But you know what? Today we are still looking at temperatures rising into the upper 30s. There's a lot of cloud cover, but the south wind is pushing in that warmth. And as more moisture comes through, it will keep this on the most part liquid. So that will come through for the rest of the afternoon with light showers developing farther north or you are probably better chance you'll see more of a mix, if not even teetering towards snowfall. And that'll still be with us for the evening rush. So some wet pavement as you head home and later into this evening. But behind this front is yet another swap in temperatures. Just how far we tumble. I'll have that ahead in your nine first morning forecast.